using the basketball court to reach kids. And at the root of it all, two powerhouses in the sport who just want to see kids excel. This powerhouse program is called Project Exposure. And I'd like to introduce you to the founders of Project Exposure with us today, Andre Collins and Amber Elliott. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks, so uh, let's start off. When we say basketball powerhouses, Amber, you're a former Division I player. Tell us a little bit about your background. Um, so I played um, since I was in middle school. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Crystal High School. I played there at Varsity. I played at um, Holly Grove where I graduated. From there, I was recruited to play at Maryland Eastern Shore. So I played there, um, graduated uh, with a degree in re rehabilitation services. Okay. So basketball has been a big part of your life, yeah. definitely. All right. And Andre, you played in the professional Italian league for 11 years, and that's just the start of your accolades. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was blessed enough to play professional ball in Europe. Um, for 11 years, eight and a half in Italy. I uh, played a year in Turkey and a year, a year and a half in Belgium. Um, played college ball at University of Maryland for the Terps and was fortunate enough to win a national championship there in 2002, um, as well as transferring to Loyola where I finished up college. All right, so the two of you have teamed up to create Project Exposure. What is it? So Project Exposure, um, we started a nonprofit. It's a nonprofit organization um, where we're focusing on mentorship um, through trade, athletics, and um, you know our, our end goal is to eventually um, have a trade school. Um, as you know, college isn't for everyone, so uh, we wanted to introduce trade um, to students at a younger age instead of just high school. Uh, around we're looking to start it around eighth grade. And, um, you know, that way they can have an idea if they want to go to college or not. They have an idea of, you know, maybe pick up a skill or something like that to fall back on. Mm -hmm. And you're using basketball to reach these young athletes? So we're using all, all types of athletics. Um, both of us are from Chrisfield. So what we did, uh, we're starting recreational leagues in Chrisfield as well um, through Exposure Athletics. You know, this past uh, spring we had soccer. Um, we had a soccer league and we had about 90 kids register for that league in Chrisfield. Um, we had people drive from Del Mar, you know, so it was it was really good and, and, and something that we were excited to be able to bring to the youth in Chrisfield. And as part of Coast Country Cares, you guys have a, an event coming up. Uh, Brews, the <laughs> Brews and Cruise, what is it? So Brews and Cruise is going to be a, a beer festival. Um, unlimited beer will have different vendors, business, it looks, small businesses, um, food trucks, things of that nature. And afterwards, people have the opportunity if they want to purchase a cruise ticket, they can go on to the cruise. It's about two, two hours, then they'll come back. Um, with that being said, it kind of goes hand in hand with our gym, Exposure Athletics and Project Exposure. What we want to do is take those funds that we raise and make it so that kids can play the sport for basically free. Mm -hmm. No registration fees and things like that. All right. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, what are uh, some of the highlights from the event? Um, so at the event, we'll have On the Edge Band mm -hmm. uh, for entertainment. Um, we'll be having a booth for a project exposure so people can see what it actually is and donate. Um, and just, I would say, just bringing the community together. You guys are really passionate about this cause, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know for the both of us, we had mentors. Um, we've shared each other's stories. Um, and I know just a little bit about mine. Um, coming from Chrisfield, there's not a lot of exposure. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand what having a mentor did for me. Um, having an outlet, what it did for me, and was able to get me exposure to be able to go get recruited for college basketball, which also um, opened my eyes up to the world, you know, to a bigger place that's, that's bigger than, than the Eastern Shore, bigger than, than Chrisfield. Um, so, you know, we're very passionate about it because of, of, of what it, do, it it's done for us. Yeah, and, and you've seen a difference in kids who... Get oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, especially in Crisfield, our hometown right now, there aren't many things for kids to do there, unfortunately. So us bringing programs there, you know, we see we see kids who do get in trouble um, in their behaviors and things like that. But when they're in the program and in the sport, they're totally different kids. They're respectful. They love it. They're having fun. So I believe doing more of that is exactly, you know, what we need to do. All right. The uh, Bruce and Cruz, when is it? 
Friday. Friday. This Friday. What yes. time? Um, three to nine. Three to nine, and that's yep. in Crisfield. Yes, at the marina. Yeah. All right, and of course we'll have information on our website, DelmarvaLife.com. Amber Elliott and Andre Collins with Project Exposure. Thank you, and good luck. With Thank, the you. Event. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having Thank us. You.